A car owned by Hamilton County crashes into another vehicle and now thousands of taxpayer dollars are on the line. News Channel 9's Catherine Marchand spoke to the woman who says she's been in a wheelchair full time since the crash. Catherine. Latricia, today the county commission agreed to pay Linda Porter $70,000 for her injuries in the crash, but Porter says that's just a drop in the bucket considering what happened in that crash in 2013. Market and 3rd Street, where 65-year-old Linda Porter says her life changed forever. I was in a wheelchair only for walking, not for around the house or anything, but I am now in a wheelchair all the time. According to the complaint Porter filed against Hamilton County, Barbara Payne, the current director of the Hamilton County Department of Corrections, ran a red light and slammed into the car where Porter was a passenger. Hamilton County's attorney says Payne never received a ticket for the accident. I'd like to know why she did not get a ticket. And the main thing I'd like to know is, was she on her cell phone? In a written response to the complaint, the county denies that Payne's driving was negligent, but county commissioners approved a settlement today of $70,000. We're very, very concerned and, and aware that, uh, you know, that it is a, uh, it is taxpayer dollars when we, when we agree to these things. It's always a concern when, when somebody's injured and, you know, we have, uh, have county employees involved. Porter says she has PTSD since the crash and bad headaches and must rely on her son more now than ever before. It's been difficult. I mean, it's just the, the pressure of the her trying to, trying to get her doctor appointment and helping her feel better. And it's not been easy. It's been very taxing on, on the whole family, really. We tried to speak with Payne today, but we were told she was out of the office. And again, the county attorney told us she was never cited for running that red light. Latricia. Catherine, thank you. According to the complaint, Payne was initially mentioned as a defendant, but later dropped because she was acting on the clock with the county when the crash happened. The Hamilton County School Board will meet tomorrow to talk about Rick Smith's retirement and an interim replacement for him. Rick Smith announced his plans to retire back on Monday, six days after saying 